Kirby is everyone's comfort series in one way or another. Aside from boasting an adorable titular character, each game is simplistically appealing, welcoming to all ranges of crowds regardless of their gaming experience. So the announcement of a new Kirby entry arriving on Switch that wasn't Star Allies was thrilling, as the last game in the series that I actually played was Superstar Ultra. Kirby and the Forgotten Land made a favorable impression during its debut, and after playing the demo, my excitement for the full release has only grown. The demo is rather short, only containing a few stages and a boss battle. However, they effectively communicate the title's general game loop, alongside what to expect from the level and enemy design. Players control Kirby across several 3D fields set in what seems to be an abandoned human civilization. Locales like a mall and desolate city reinforce a sense of foreignness to Kirby's presence, which is a notable first in the franchise. This aesthetic aids in granting Forgotten Land a sturdier sense of identity, a welcome addition since many Kirby games can be sometimes be mentally jumbled together. Regarding gameplay, it's precisely what you'd expect from the pink blob, save for a few bells and whistles. Kirby can run and jump, with the latter allowing for temporary floating. Further the breath, he lets out acts as damage. The base movement is almost comically simple, but copy power-ups provide variety. Classics such as the bomb and sword return, though the new mouthful mechanics is where the bizarre stuff starts to happen. Kirby can suck up objects such as cars or vending machines and just cause absolute havoc. The instances one uses these transformations are brief, but I'm glad they don't seem to over stay their welcome. When viewing the initial trailers for this title, it was easy to assume that they would lean towards a more open-world-esque design. Instead, however, the game is traditionally linear, with occasional side paths boasting secrets and collectibles. While this design choice may disappoint those seeking a more courageous iteration of Kirby, I found myself not really minding it. Between the increasing frequency of open-world settings and games, seeing Kirby stick to a tried-and-true formula with just enough new spice to keep progression fresh satisfies me. Kirby in the Forgotten Land is providing to be a prime example of what makes makes the Kirby series so addictive. The well-paced level design, player agency with power-ups, and sense of continual comfort are excellently depicted in 30 minutes. If the full game matches this level of quality that these stages and boss battles boast, then I'm fully strapped in. Kirby and the Forgotten Land is releasing on Nintendo Switch on March 25th, 2022. Thanks for watching. Please read the full preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by Kirby Gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. <laughs> Noisy pixel.